Hey everybody, welcome back to Witcher Wednesday. So let's go ahead and jump right back into things. We are going to continue with Wine is Sacred, but before we do that, we are going to unlock the achievement embodiment of the five virtues. So we're gonna go to our quest and I do actually have the quest available to me. I just didn't remember the name of it. So if we head down over to here, there can only be one. This quest is directly related to that achievement and has the trial of the virtues, all that good stuff. So yeah, we are going to make our way over to that destination. We just got to get ourselves to a fast travel marker and it's right in front of us. That is a beautiful. So let's go ahead and make our way. Let's see what we got. It is on this island over here. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it is the isle on uh, Lac Calavi, Salavi, whatever you want to say. We'll take this vineyard over here and then we are going to make our way over there. And after we do unlock that, we only have one more achievement left, which we may go for in this video. I'm not too sure. Maybe we do. Maybe we do. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling after we complete this achievement and then uh, go from there. I suppose we shall. Uh, we shall just see. Can I please get on? Thank you very much. Come on. All right. Let's go. Let's make our way over to Lac Calave, the Isle on Lac Calave. All right. Oh man. And. Uh, Fun fact, fun fact, we are getting very close to the end of this DLC. I actually took a list, I actually took a look at the list of how many missions are left. And I think there's a total of four to five missions left, main missions, I should say. So yeah, we are really, really close to finishing Blood and Wine and therefore finishing this game like you guys already know. It's so close. It's so close and it is super, super satisfying. So yeah, let's just keep on pushing let's keep going oh so pretty look at those stars look at that sunset oh my god so pretty dude wow isn't that nice anyways let's make our way let's go ahead and make our way over there i don't think there's a boat for us to take so we'll just go ahead really quickly really quickly swim across and go ahead and get this achievement there can only be one and remember we can take care of all five of the virtues if i really quickly go down the list so that way you guys know what i did uh let's see looking at the virtues hold on hold on i gotta scroll scroll on my list here we go we have valor which was for the warble of the spent night we got valor during the tournament i think it was for finishing up the tournament and completing it that is when we got valor we got generosity for tipping the kid and we have gotten compassion for sparing the shalmar we got wisdom for thoroughly exploring the white's lair and making sure that we cured the white's affliction rather than killing the white so that was wisdom and then finally we got honor i think it's honor yeah yeah we got honor from the tournament when we uh beat the prince of rivia for in, in a mounted dueling so that is all five of the virtues that we got and that's how we got them so we should have no problem unlocking this achievement right here with this quest Let's see what's up. I'm walking on water, just like. Like who? Like a pond skater. Who are you thinking? <laughs> no matter. I suppose you thought nothing else in life could surprise you, eh? Wrong. Interesting. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see what's up. Hey, happen to know how the hell I can walk on that water? Honestly. Naturally, Cheers. I know. Since time immemorial have I dwelt in solitude on this shore, and I can testify to the extraordinary nature of the lake. What's so extraordinary about it? I mean, besides the fact that you can walk on its surface. A sword, most wondrous, lies in its depths. Oh. I watch over it. Okay, interesting. The blade may be grasped solely by one who possesses the five chivalric virtues. Folk That's us. call me a That's lot us. of things, but virtuous? I don't know. Yet I do know, for I know who you are. Huh? You have proven yourself okay. capable of great sympathy. You okay. are a man of honor, as many can attest. Of humble means yourself. You show generosity to others. Your valor is the stuff of legends. Reason guides your actions, as it does those of all who are wise. You have proven the Would five you look at that? virtues dwell in your heart. 
Mean the sword's mine? I can dive in and take it? The sword deserves the hand of a master. You must prove your skills are worthy through combat atop the water's surface. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, I guess. I guess we're we're getting in a fight. I wasn't expecting this. Anytime. Hell yeah. Let's go. We're gonna fight for this then sword. Draw Damn right your we are. Blade. Oh, we're fighting the hermit. Yo, buddy, 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 relax. Chill out, chill out. Okay, let me throw that devil's puffball at you. Okay, get poisoned. Oh my god. Oh my god. This guy is damaging us like crazy right now. Sheesh. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I think we got this. I think we got this. Just uh, make sure Quen is always active. And look at that. Look at that. This guy is super weak. He's getting damaged really, really easily. But honestly, he does a lot of damage himself. But here we go. Looks like we're, we're in the end of it. At, at, almost at the end of the battle. Come on, Hermit. Let me get you. Let me get you. What? Hey, come on, buddy. Let me get you. What? He's throw, summoning tornadoes and shit? Oh, my God. Chill out. Chill out. Okay, we're, we're, we're all good. We're chill. I don't want to get sucked up. Please, no. All right, let, let me put on some Quen. I need it. I need it big time. Oh, my God. I'm about to die. I'm actually about to die. Yo, 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 buddy, 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 buddy. Okay, please stop. Please stop. Yeah, thank you very much. Whew. Here we are. Now... Now we're in our zone. We're about to take you down, okay? Okay, sir. Okay, Mr. Hermit. Come on. Come on, I got all the virtues. I am worthy of this sword. Let's go. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You have proven worthy of wielding the blade. Beyond all doubt. Nice. Let's go. Interesting, huh? Is he good? Where'd he go? What the hell? Where'd he go? Behold, your Arandite. Whoa! We've met before. Certainly. The hermit admitted he knew you, remember? The Lady of the Lake. It is I. Forget not that you are a man right and honorable, devoted to doing good. And for these reasons, you received the blade. Now bear it. Interesting. And I trust this time you shall not lose it. Oh, interesting. So there's some backstory with this blade. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. We now have Aaron Dykes. Bam. There can only be one. We have officially... We have officially unlocked it. Let's see. Let's see. We should now get our achievement. Here we go. Lady of the Lake. The Lady of the Lake has officially given us our sword, Arendite. Let's see. The, the achievement will pop. We got it. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. It'll, it'll come in sometime. So there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Embodiment of the five virtues. We were given Arendite by the Lady of the Lake. And yeah, he was talking about all of the virtues, all five of them we had uh, completed along our journey through Toussaint. So yeah, it's that easy. It is that easy to complete. Pretty, pretty easy quest overall if you come prepared. And also, I guess you got to know what to come prepared with. You got to complete the tournament. You got to complete, you know, certain things in certain ways. So it's it, it's not too easy, but it's easy enough once you get to it and you've completed everything. All you got to do is fight the hermit. He was a tough enemy for, for a moment there. He was kind of tough. Okay, let's make it daytime, and then let's go ahead, and honestly, let's go ahead and unlock our final miscellaneous achievement, aside from the Gwent achievements. Gwent achievement. There's only one Gwent achievement, I should say. We are going to go ahead and unlock the achievement, uh, Grapes of Wrath Stomped. I think it's something called that. We have a few specific things that we need to do in a specific order, so we are going to be following that order. We are going to be starting up the Wine Wars Belgard quest. Let's see. We have secondary quest, Wine Wars, Belgard. So we're going to start that up. And then we are going to make sure we don't progress further with one side over another side, if that makes sense. So we are going to follow the objective to the auction, blah, 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 trigger a cutscene. And we'll, we'll get two Wine Wars quests. Those are related to the two families that we are going to be assisting. Basically, we need to start with one quest, progress with that quest, then, then go to the other quest, make sure we progress with that one. So we're not like favoring one side over the other if that makes sense hope you guys get it but uh yeah this is what is up we're going to the place where the auction will be held and then uh we shall start things up 
so i'll probably talk more about how, like what we're doing and why we're doing things as we start them up but uh for now we're just gonna focus all right we're just gonna focus and make our way over there Whoa, let's go there, roach. let's get going roach roach my friend let's make it to the auction is it in Beauclair? it's a easy peasy plagman's bridge it's easy enough to get to you love to see it all right so yeah we are going to make our way over to this uh auction let's go and then maybe we do some gwent after this who knows who knows but we're definitely going to get to the main story that is for sure but depending on how long this takes we might do some gwent i don't know i don't know i don't know that is how long my family has been producing wine producing plonk unfit to drink you mean which is exactly why you should sell Belgat to me, not him. <clears throat> As a ducal clerk, I must look after the duchy's best interests. Belgar currently belongs to the treasury. The minister of the treasury has clearly expressed his desire that Belgard be handed over to a responsible steward. Yet, diverse troubles beset both your present holdings. Until you resolve them and thus prove yourselves competent, selling Belgard to either of you is out of the question. Well, Happy, this is your fault! Mine? You're deranged, woman! Hark! Good folk! Be it known, Matilda de Vermentino is a cursed, spiteful lunatic! Doesn't look cursed to me, just really, really angry. Ticked her off quite a bit, you have. Truly? How would you know? A shrew tamer, are you? A shrew tamer? A witcher. A witcher. So no expert, I guess. But it doesn't take an expert to see when a woman's angry. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you speak the truth, brother. Wait, did you say Witcher? Yes, what? indeed. Seeking work, are you? you always, you see, always seeking work. A vineyard, Belgard. Yet that bloody bureaucrat's not likely to sell it to me until I settle my troubles at home at Coronata. What kind of troubles are we talking about? Ah. Uh, it's botched in more ways than one. The herbarium, infested with monsters. My steward, gone missing, with an entire transport of wine. And someone's abducted my herbalist. A lot of bad luck for one little vineyard. If you ask me, it's that Matilda, her handiwork. A sugar sweet face, a temper sharp as horseradish. So will you help? Yeah, I will help, for sure. Sure sounds like work for a witcher. Yeah, I'll help. I am really, truly grateful. Thank you. My vineyard lies east of here. You're sure to find it. Now forgive me. I must talk to that quill pusher. I might win him over yet. Okay. Alright, so we have one quest for his family. And then we have Matilda's family. Well, who are they? <laughs> What's going on? What was that? Oh, that's her? I cannot tell that was her. I thought that You're was a, a random witcher, lady. Yes? I heard you talking to that oafish ogre Liam. Disgusting man. The worst sort. First, seduces with a dashing gaze. The fair face. Then reveals a cold black heart. But that's all besides the point. I stopped you because I want to buy Belgat too. Alas, things are rotten at my own vineyard, Vermentino. Hmm. Strange coincidence. No coincidence. I am certain Liam's thrown a stick in my spokes. Several sticks. Interesting. My cooper and blacksmith both have mysteriously vanished. Man-eating plants have sprouted on my paths, and strange things are afoot on Pheasant Hill. Ah, the list goes on. But the crux is one. I must solve my problems at Vermentino if I'm to stand any chance of acquiring Belgard. Would you help me before you help Liam? I'm willing to pay more than he's offered you. Mm, let's go. Yeah, I'll help you too. I can help. Please try. Wonderful. You've no idea how much that means to me. My vineyard lies due west. All right, there you go. So she is going to be the first person that we help. I shall stay here for a time. I must make certain Liam does not pull some stunt while my back is turned. All right. Gotcha. Farewell. See you later. 
So yeah, we are going to focus on the Wine Wars for Bermentino, whatever her name was. I do not know. Let's go to secondary quest. We have Wine Wars, Ver Vermentino. Yeah, Vermentino, I got it right. So we're basically going to progress through this quest until we get to a point that mentions an elegant letter guarded by arch spores. Once we get to that point, we are going to complete that section, I do believe. We're going to like clear clear the enemies and stuff like that. And then we are going to stop progressing through the quest immediately, then switch over to the other Wine Wars quest. And then we're going to progress with that. So basically, we're going to like keep going back and forth to make sure we're not like favoriting one over the other. OK, so we have five. Oh, my gosh. OK, I'm just going to follow. I'm just going to follow the objective as it's laid out for me because we have, uh, you know, we just have it listed. I think we're supposed to progress through two out of five. I don't actually know. I don't actually know. So we're, we're just going to focus on this one for now. Let's see just what we wonderful. got. We got a wolf. Easy peasy. Not too crazy to deal with, right? Ow. Stop. Let me get off. Let me get off and fight you, okay? Chill the hell out, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm not trying to die. Oh, I did not want to use freaking Igni, bro. I don't want to die, okay? Please, guys, just back up. I didn't even eat yet, okay? I'm not healing. Stop. Okay, stop. Whew. Okay, we're solid. We got this. We only got these two wolves, maybe a third down there, but uh, they're not engaging in this fight just yet. Oh, my God. Stop. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Dude. Yeah, you're dead. You're dead. You you want the same? You want the same? I got you. I got you. And I'll kill your friend too while I'm at it. Okay, so back the hell up. Oh, stop. Stop. Please. Please, no more. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Easy peasy. What problem am I solving here? Just killing the killing the wolves or something? Yeah, what is the problem? Okay. Investigating. Really is just the wolves. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> All right, let's kill him. Let's kill this final one. Bam. I didn't even solve this problem. Was this problem just on my way? Oh, I didn't actually take in. I thought this was actually one of the problems, but it's not. These were just wolves that were in my path. I just killed them for no reason. Smashed what? bones. Damn, it was strong. What the hell? Oh my God. I didn't want to switch my objective. Why did it switch my objective? Big feet hill. What? <laughs> big feet to fill. Oh, not big feet hill. What am I talking about? All right, let's switch to Vermentino and let's follow the objective. Can't believe I uh, got a little bit sidetracked there. That, that's my bad. It's definitely my bad. Okay, let's go. Here we are. We got rod fiends or scurvers or whatever these things are called. Annoying enemies, bro. I don't like fighting them. I do not like fighting them at all. We got, yeah, we'll take you down. We shall take you down, okay? As long as I take one down, they're both taken down. Let's be honest. So we got nothing to stress about. But goddamn, if I do not, uh, oh, I do not enjoy fighting them. All right, come on, come on, let's go. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. This guy's about to blow up. Come on, dude, let's go. Just blow up, just blow up, please. Come on. Here we go. So close. That's what I'm talking about. It's 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 happening. It's happening. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Dude, how are you still going? There we go, there we go. Beautiful. Boom, beautiful. Yeah, that one's gonna blow up too while we're at it. Hell yeah. Come on. Let's go. I'll take you out. I'll take you out. Oh, oh, oh it's going to blow up. It's going to blow up. Let's go. Woo. All right. We have a guarded treasure. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Augustin Tonalia's journey. Key to chest in sunflower fields. Okay. Let me read that. Let me just go ahead and scroll through everything. Yeah. Do not care. Do not care. Okay, Roach. Come here. Let's go. We are headed to our next objective. See, I guess we're just going from objective to objective. It's probably like we're getting progressed to two out of five. And then we're going to, like, uh, switch over to the other one once we're at that point. That's what I'm thinking is going to happen. Damn, I don't really know, though, for sure. Here. Okay. Yeah, let's keep it moving. At least this one's not too far away. No stress. We're about to be there. All right. Easy peasy. I think I might meditate because I did use a lot of potions on that wolf fight that I didn't need to do at all. So we'll see. But for now, we'll just keep pushing. We will just keep pushing. Okay. Okay. Here we go. We got some arch spores. Love to see it. And uh, you guys know we have a method for dealing with arch spores. Let's go ahead and open up our inventory. We are going to go to our potions and we are going to use, I think it's tawny oil. No, golden oriole. So we're going to consume the golden oriole and we are also going to consume uh, the tawny oil in our tawny owl in our inventory. And then we are going to use this to our advantage because these are the deadliest goddamn enemies. 
These are such annoying enemies to deal with if you do not have poison resistance. It's like, it's basically a necessity at this point. So, uh, yeah, that's that's what we're doing here. That is what we're doing here. Now, let's light them on fire, get some easy damage in. Didn't seem like the fire did anything, if I'm being honest, though. It's kind of a bummer. But, yeah, we're just trying to survive. We are just trying to survive here. So, uh, let's please survive. Okay, come on. That golden oil is putting in work for us. We are not getting poisoned at all. These things have way too much health. My god, I can't even see their health bar. What's going on? Like, why aren't they dying? I, I don't even know. I don't even know what's going on. Stop. Stop. Stop, okay? Please. Like, back the hell up. My god. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. We got it halfway. That's not bad. Could be worse. Could be worse. That's for sure. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. All right. I got to... Uh, oh, no. I might have to run away and meditate because we are getting whooped. But I think I'll try my best here. I'll try my best here. I think I got this. As long as we can have a Golden Oriole last this entire fight. We got one down, and then we've got just this last one left. Come on, dude. You gotta die. You have to die, okay? It's 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 your contractual obligation to die. So please, just die already. Dude, stop. Stop planting. Stop planting. You're about to kill me. You're actually about to kill me, and I'm pissed. Okay. Woo. There we go. All dead. All dead. That's what I'm talking about. And I think now we switch over to the next portion. The next quest. Like, uh... That's, like, probably all we got to do for now. And then we switch over to whatever his name is. Liam. I don't remember his last name. Okay. Yeah, I think that is done. So we are going to search the camp for the letter. And then switch over to uh, Castle Ravello. I don't even know. I don't know what's happening. Whatever. Let's see what goes down. So we cleared that out because it was Arc Spores in an abandoned area. I'm just reading my notes here, so I'm like kind of confused on exactly what to do, but I'm slowly figuring it out. So we have done this. We've cleared that out. Are you serious? So wait, where's the, huh? Wait, what? <laughs> where's the one that has a letter? There's something that has a letter. I don't know what has a letter. If there's a specific one that I need to watch out for. Is it this one right over here? Maybe I should have headed to that one. I don't know. I don't know. Let's make our way back up. Let's just go over to that one. Are we supposed to progress four out of five at this point? Come on, Rose. Oh my god. We might we might have to. We might have to. I don't really know. Let's go ahead and just complete the next one. The next one that it leads us to. How about that? That is what we are going to complete. Which it looks like it is going to Did my game freeze? No way. Did my game freeze? Uh No. Bummer. Dude. You're kidding me. Yeah, it looks like it froze. Oh, man. I was trying to open up my map. Right when I pressed the, the button to open up the map, the game was like, nah, bro. It ain't happening. Oh, I guess I pressed the wrong button. It opened up the, it opened up the pause menu, but hey, it fixed itself. Okay, so this is where we're headed. This is where we're headed. Okay. Sounds good to me. Let's uh, crush it. But before we get there, I do want to meditate. That is for sure. Okay. So we're basically there. Let me really quickly. Go ahead and plop myself down, meditate, refill everything. Go ahead and bam. Let's also really quickly save for good measure. It seems like me trying to save actually freezes the game. <laughs> like the game's completely frozen because I tried to save just now. So maybe I restart. I don't actually know what the best approach here is because if this is going to happen every time I try to save the game, it's not a good thing. But the music did cut out. The music did cut out, which isn't a good sign. Before the music didn't cut out. What's going on? Hello? Hello? There we go. Nice job. Empty slave, empty save slot. I do not like seeing that. Okay, so um, I put it in an empty save slot. You know what I'm going to do? Now that I saved, now that I've successfully saved, although I can't load the game at all. I'm just hoping that I did successfully save. I'm going to go ahead and quit and open it back up maybe maybe that that works so i shall see you guys back in the game all right and we are back so unfortunately between the time that uh you know i quit out of the game and like totally restarted and uh, starting up it's been like 20 minutes because the game just did not want to restart so i had to restart my console completely like the game just completely was not opening it was, it was actually pretty annoying and uh, so yeah, I had to restart my console completely 
And when I loaded up the game, I did not have my save that was like right in this meadow here. So that's a little bit annoying. I had to make my way through everything and sort of make my way from this point where we started the video all the way back to uh, here. So, hey, now we're here. I saved my game. I'm happy about that. But damn, that is rough. All right, so let's clear out these bandits. And then I think we need to get this objective. I was doing some research since I had so much damn time to uh, just sort of chill while I was waiting for the game startup. I did do some research and I did find out that what we need to do is get this to four out of five tasks completed. This quest, Vermentino, and then we're gonna switch to the other Wine Wars quest. And then at that point, we should get a third Wine Wars quest that is sort of like uh, combining them both and I think that's what we need to complete to get the achievement. I'm not too sure yet. I haven't read that far into it, but basically we need to get this one to four out of five, if that makes sense. All right, here we go. There you have it. Let's go ahead and collect everything we can. We got a guy to free. What's going on? Am I just freeing the prisoner? Why do we get a cutscene for this? I owe you my life, unknown Interesting. knight. How were you dubbed? Dubbed Geralt. Geralt of Rivia. My thanks, Sir Geralt. The Scallywax thought to demolish our herb garden, you see. I thought I shall take a hum, scare the rubble off, but to my great chagrin, there were too many and I, I failed. Ah, there's no use crying over spilt wine. Come with me to Vormentino. I'll patch up your armor or pound the anvil to fulfill some other need you might have. I'll come by later. Thank you. Go ahead. I'll stop by when I'm in the area. That's nice. Yeah, that, that what a nice uh, prisoner that we just freed. Okay. Yeah, there we go. That is completed. And now we are moving on to our next objective, which is going to be the one by the river. So I think this objective right over here has a ton of arch spores and it has a letter. And we basically need to collect that letter and then switch over to the other quest and collect the letter from that quest i do believe and then after that we'll get the third quest but i'm not entirely certain i'm just sort of uh, trying to read off of what i've got beside me and and the notes that i've got so we'll see how things go we'll see if we can actually get all of that done but uh hey you know what? i'm just glad that we're progressing i'm really bummed that my game crashed i was hoping that this session was going to be a productive session and, and it's not off to a good start for me but hey you know we're going to roll with the punches we're going to try to be as uh <laughs> as efficient as we can and as quick as we can because i got stuff to do today I, I was hoping to do something after we recorded you know so so we'll see we'll see we'll see how long this one is i don't know i don't know but whatever no biggie we're in the zone we're playing the game i'm happy about that that is for sure and i'm just so excited i'm so excited to that we're nearing the end to be honest it's it's gonna be such an amazing feeling to get that final achievement i know i've been talking about it for so many weeks at this point I've been talking about that final achievement and like completing this game, but for real, ooh, that's going to be something. That is going to be something. It's going to be quite a journey completed. That is for sure. So I'm very, very excited for that. And you can't blame me. You can't blame me either. A lot of work has gone into this. That is for sure. Okay, here we go. We got some lovely arch spores to fight. I do not like fighting them at all. They're honestly probably one of the worst enemies for me to fight. I hate them with a passion. So let's go ahead and put on our, what's it called? Golden Oriole. We're going to put on our Golden Oriole. And uh, now we won't get afflicted by the poison too much. And let's get started with this fight, huh? Let's get it going. Come on, Arch Spore. I'm going to focus on this one. We're going to use Northern Wind to disable it. If I can even land it. God damn it. All right. Now we're going to do as much damage as possible while we have the opportunity. And we're hopefully not going to die. Got a lot of potions with me. So I'm hoping that uh, you know, those will carry us through this. But we'll see. We'll see how things really go. Oh my god, dude. Are you gonna die or what? Holy. Let's go. Stay like this. Stay like this. I got you stun locked. You love to see it. Can we keep this up? Can we please keep that up? I don't want you interrupting, dude. Please stop interrupting. This isn't about you. This is about me and your friend over here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We got it stun locked completely. That was beautiful. Alright, here we go. We got this one frozen. And we're gonna fry it up. Let's go. Hell yeah, man. Alright, where are you popping to next, huh? Where are you popping to next? Right over here? I got you. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Yeah, you want you want to drop down? Go ahead. Go ahead, buddy. It's me and you, and that's all that matters. So, like, I got no complaints. I got no complaints right now. All right, here we go. You're going to pop something else. No worries. Where are you going? <laughs> okay, over here. Sure, whatever. 
Ow, 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 ow. That was a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage, okay? Chill the hell out, buddy. Bam, there we go. Arch spores have been dealt with. Now let's go ahead and collect it. There we go. We got a letter on elegant stationery. So let's go ahead and read that. Bam, there you go. And now that we have collected that, we are switching over to Wine Wars. Wait, what's it called? Wine Wars Coronata. And then we are going to add to the relevant objective to get the letter for that quest. I think that's what we got to do. I don't know if I needed to do all three quests before this quest. Like, right? I don't, if, I don't know if I needed to do those all, but, like, I was just following the markers. I was just following the markers, and then I read, like, oh, you can actually just go straight to the letter. And I was like, okay, I guess we'll save that for, for number four to five, right? I don't know. I, I, I feel like I wasted a little bit of time not going for the letters immediately, but I didn't know. I didn't know what to do. You can't blame me. Okay. Can we get a marker for fast travel? I think that'd be nice. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, so basically, we are headed to... A specific marker so there is going to be one there is uh, for Vermentino the position of the the letter so we got a letter from this one now we're looking for a letter for Coronata uh, this mission is located between trading post and Coronata Vineyard so Coronata Vineyard trading post where where is this where is this tell me where this is oh my god I have no clue all right so we're just gonna hope we find it yeah we're just gonna hope we find it in one of these places I don't even know. Okay, we there are going to be arch spores, and we have to clear the campsite and loot it. So maybe instead of going to each spot and clearing it out, I might go to one spot. And if it's not there, if there are no arch spores, then we move on to the next spot. I think that might be the move, because uh, I don't I don't want to waste time. You know what I'm saying? I do not want to waste our time. So yeah, we're gonna take a left. We're going to take a left over here, see if this is the correct one. If it's not, we're going to move on. Arch spores. What do we got? This is... There's no chest that they're guarding. Yeah, it's just a monster nest, I do believe. So we're not even going to look twice. We are not even going to look twice. We are moving forward. Hopefully, this is the correct thing that I'm doing right now. Like, hopefully, I'm making the correct decisions and, like, avoiding things that I don't need to do, right? But we'll see. If, we, if I need to do it later on, we'll do it. It's fine. It's whatever. But if I can avoid it... We'll try that first. I do also need to meditate before we get to the next location. Let's see. Are there arch spores here? Are there arch spores right over here? There are. Okay. This looks promising. Looks like there might be a letter here. So let's go ahead. Meditate. Oh my God. That's a long ass meditation. I'm going to pause it early. There you go. And uh, let's get it started. Bam. I'm going to go ahead and also save just to be safe because I don't want my game to crash. I don't want any of that stuff. We're just going to, you know, make sure we're good. And let's go ahead and put on a golden Oriole while we're at it, please. Pretty please. I really need that. Okay. Let's consume. And then let's get it started. Bam. All right. Arch Spore. Come here. Let me take you down. We're going to go ahead and plop down a Northern Wind because that seemed to assist us quite a lot in the previous fights. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. And bam. Here we are. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on, dude. Dude, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. I'm not about to die. I'm not about to die, okay? I don't want that. Oh my god. How am I so low on health? What's going on here? Jesus, I'm actually so low. All right, all right. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. These guys are tough. These ones are tough. Stop. I don't want this. I don't want this. Okay? Here we go. Here we go. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Not too bad so far. Let's go. Let's keep it up. Just keep on attacking. Just don't let them take me down. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. All right. Where are they at? Here we go. Here we go. Right over here. Bam. Beautiful. Okay. Or not. Whatever. That's fine. That's fine. We got this one in the bag. And then we just got to loot the campsite. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't realize how low I was on health. My God. That was terrifying. All right. Come on, dude. Just die. Just die. Please. Here we go. Beautiful. Okay. Now that that's done, let's see what we got. Let's see what we have in this campsite. We just got to find the chest to loot. Hello? Where's it at? Okay, here we go. Bam. No, no letter yet. Okay. We're looting the campsite, that's for sure. Oh, is there something here? Nope. Is there something over here? Nothing, nothing. Something. Let's go. All right. Is there something in the tents, I guess? I'm not clear to this area yet. Yeah, okay. It looks like this is it. Great. Okay, what do we got? Nope. Is there a letter? Letter anywhere? Hello? Oh my god. Hello? 
I haven't even cleared it off the map. Like, still, I haven't cleared this objective. It still says zero out of five. Self didn't kill Interesting. Him. Bled to death afterwards. Is that part? Oh yeah, okay. Or just on elegant stationery. Look at that. What have we got here? Okay, so we have another letter. So yeah, Chances I could have just gone straight to the letter's location for each of the quests. I wasted my time. I wasted my time. I can't believe it, but whatever. At least we saved some time on the second quest. No so let's see. Earlier. The Deus in the Machina Something is cr is our current quest for Wine Wars. So that's good. We are making good progress. We're switching over to that quest, and then we are not continuing on with either of the two families. The Coronata or Vermentino. We're not doing that. We are going to complete the main objective of this one. We're going to find the place mentioned in the letter. And then we are going to return to the two of them with a with like whatever results we get from uh, following this location. And then there should be another quest after that. Faster. So yeah, I should I didn't need to progress so far with uh, the Vermentino quest. I could have just gone to the letters location. But you know what? At least we had a good time, right? I don't know if we had a good time because the game crashed, but hey, at least we did it. Did I pass by a marker at all? Because this is far as hell. Okay, let's go. Let's go straight. It looks like there's a marker. If I just keep heading straight, I should hit one. So we'll grab it. Hello. Hello, marker. Was that a peacock? I know that peacock noise. You better believe I know it. Okay. Nope. Hello, I, I think we were supposed to hit a marker by now. I'm not trying to go all the way down to that area, that's for sure. Freaking 200 meters away. Here we go. Ooh. Bam. Or maybe 200, 2,000 feet. Not 200. 2,000. Maybe it's 2,000 meters or 2,000 feet. I don't know how they measure distance in this game, to be honest. But here we are. Tesha Mutna. Huh. We're, we're nearby these ruins. Interesting. Here we go. Here we go. Bam. And let's get it going. We're finding the place mentioned in the letter. Let's see what we got. Go. Hopefully go. this isn't uh, too scary. Too scary of a mission. Hopefully it's not too difficult. I'm prepared. I am prepared for the worst. We're going to meditate before we go into any caves or anything. But uh, I have no idea what's in store. Let's see. Let's find out. Hopefully it's something interesting. It's, an, it's worth an achievement Faster. though. So yeah, I'm cool with it. All right, here we are. So we made it. Let's go ahead and uh, start doing some investigation, huh? There we go. We have gone ahead and meditated. Let's go. Thank you very much. Let's see what we got. Find the place mentioned in the letter. Already here. Already here. Okay, search the warehouse using your Witcher senses. You got it. I can head in. Beautiful. Okay. Interesting. What do we got? We got something. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. No, we got more of these art spores. Stop. Stop. Just stop. Okay? I don't want to fight art spores anymore. I if if I never see one if I never see one in my life, it'll be too soon. I don't like them. I don't like fighting them like at all. <laughs> to be honest. They, they they drive me mad. At least it's only one this time, but my god, they're the worst addition to the game. I gotta be honest. I don't they make me they make me angry more than they than they make me uh just sort of engaged in combat, you know what I mean? I see them and I'm like, no. No, I do not want to deal with it. So uh, that that's my reaction. I guess they made it a good and a tough enemy. Well, maybe not a good enemy. They just made it a difficult enemy. Feels like this enemy is difficult for no reason, if I'm being honest. <laughs> and you're on fire. Take that, bitch. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, dude. Just die. Just die already. Okay, stop fighting it. Stop fighting it. Just let death take you. Please. And here we are. Come on. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. You're dead, buddy. You are dead. Stop flailing around. Bam. There we go. Stock taking report. Don't mind if I do. Talk to Liam and Matilda. Here we go. So we're just headed straight over to them. It was quick enough. It was quick enough. Not too difficult of an enemy. That's for sure. It was just one. So I really appreciate it being just one goddamn arch spore. If it was multiple, it would have been pretty annoying. Especially in such a cramped area. It might have been really, really annoying now that I think about it. So it's good. It's good. It was so easy. All right. We're getting there. We are getting there. We're, we're, we're closer to this achievement. Hell yeah. I don't know how long this is uh, supposed to take, to be honest. So I'm actually surprised it's kind of going faster than expected. But, I mean, That's we did sort of waste time early on by completing parts of the quest that we didn't necessarily need to. So maybe it's not that quick. But you get what I mean. Uh, where's the fast travel? <laughs> Hello? All right, I guess we just keep going through this area and we should encounter the fast travel. There's a freaking ghost over here. Oh my God, that's terrifying. Can I not face the ghost, please? 
Thank you. Thank you. It's tied to its domain. I appreciate that. I did not want to fight the ghost at all. I just, I, I'll tell you that much. I, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in what uh, that ghost has to say to me. Okay. All right. Here we go. So we're going to go ahead and speak to them and we should get a new quest objective or a new quest in general. Master Witcher, have you any news? I know the saboteur's identity. One and the same man caused Coronada's and Vermentino's problems. Got proof. A certain Count Crespi. He's at the root of it all. What, Crespi? Belgard's erstwhile owner? Why, that's impossible. Got it all here, in writing. He did, indeed, have motive. He knew well his own vineyard could not survive if Vermentino and Coronata were to join forces. Probably why he incited the feud. Pulled it off, too, mostly. Just failed to bring his plan to completion when the beast got him. Incredible. Interesting. You mean to say it... it wasn't Liam? And I was certain my troubles were Matilda's doing. <clears throat> In light of new evidence, uh, the most just resolution would be for both injured parties to share oversight of Belgard. Wait just a minute. Do you mean to suggest we're to cooperate? It's the optimal solution, yes. In terms of the health of the Enterprise as well. Hmm. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I do believe he's right. Perhaps it is time to bury the hatchet. Would you Three look at that? The are more than one. There's much to be gained. So be it. I'm glad we've come to an agreement. One question remains. What's to become of Coronata and Vermentino? Got caught up in the investigation. Still got problems there, but I'll clear them up. Excellent. Then we shall await news in the matter. Preferably good news. Okay, here we go. So Wine Wars Consorting. So you're going to help Liam and Matilda, Matilda's consortium, which means we just need to complete all of the remainder of the tasks Says that are left over. So I guess we could have done that to sort of save time for us later on. But hey, we're at 5 out of 10. We're halfway there. We actually have made pretty substantial progress, if you ask me. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with uh, the decision I made to sort of circumvent everything and skip straight to the letter correct. location, if you get what I mean. Could be the same damn beast. Okay, what, what is Geralt talking about? I do not even know. Like, Geralt, shut the hell up, buddy. I don't know what you're talking about. Key. Let's go. Let's go, Roach. We're not dealing with this Hans base over here. I just want to make it over to the uh, objectives over here. So please, bandits, leave me the hell alone. All right. I do not want to deal with your crap right now. I got to be honest. All right. Here we go. Let's see what this objective has in store for us. Please. No more arch spores. I only want one to two more arch spore encounters. I don't want to deal with any more. I seriously am just like exhausted. <laughs> I'm exhausted of arch spores. I, I've had enough for one lifetime. Okay, person in distress. I shall save you. Don't you worry. Are they underneath us? Yeah, I guess they are. How do we get there? <laughs> oh my god. All right, they're in a cave. Interesting. Can I just drop down? That's safe to do. Looks like it. Oh my god, I slide down. Oh my god. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my god, that was scary. All right, I'm going to freeze him. That guy got frozen. Okay, so that guy all the way over there. At least we don't have to deal with him. Well, would you look at that? That, that worked out in, in my favor, kind of. It was like an accidental throw of the bomb in the wrong area, but it also froze someone that, you know, they're not going to interfere. So that's kind of nice. But whatever. <laughs> whatever. I'm just going to I'm just gonna shut up. Whatever. It doesn't matter. It does not matter what I'm saying. I don't even know. I started talking about whatever just happened. Fight a witcher. Yeah, fight a witcher, bitch. Anyways, let's save this lady. Let's get the hell out of here. I might take up her offer if she decides to take me somewhere. I might take up her offer just so I can avoid fast traveling, if that's even an option. We'll see. Yeah, look, we might have the option to go back with her, so I might take her up. Thank you, noble knight. No worries. I'd ventured north in search of herbs for a new flavored wine. Well, suddenly... Calm okay. down. Yeah, it's over. Legit, the calm down. Did Relax. Has kidnapped me. The in bung diddlers? The bung diddlers? Swore. But with Master Liam's troubles, he never could have paid them. Ah, but I'm free and safe, thanks to you. Should you need any helps, I have a hearty stock at the Coronata. Will you work me there? Yes, of course I will. Let's go. Please. Lead the way. Right behind you. Yeah, sweet. I don't have to fast travel myself. You love to see it. 
All right. Here we go. That should be six out of ten. Yeah, we're at six out of ten. We're almost there, honestly. Yeah, pretty good. Here we are. Once again, I thank you for the rescue. Wish to look over my stock? Not at all. Not at all. See you later. Thanks. See you later. Yeah, we're done here. We are done. Six out of ten. You love to see it. Where is the nearest one? We've got one right nearby. That's beautiful. We've got one over there and we've got one over there. So I'll, I'll, we'll do the one that's straight north of us, which is arch spores. So I'm going to quickly meditate. Bam. There you go. So yeah, we're, we're going to tackle these arch spores and then we're going to move on to the next two locations. We're going to take roach for both of them, I do believe. And then we're going to need to fast travel over to the opposite side of the river. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, we're doing this quick. We are doing this quick enough. That is for sure. Am I trapped in here? How do I get out? What the hell? How do I get out? I think I can get out over here. Jeez, I really spawned Roach in a pretty inconvenient position. Damn. All right. There we go. So the one that is north of us is going to be just around the corner. Yeah, it's the one that I passed by. So a bit unfortunate I passed by it and didn't complete it. But hey, we're doing it now. We're doing it now. Let's go. Here you go. Dismount. Got some arch spores. We got a, a nest to deal with. Oh, bye. This could uh, this could go poorly, but we shall see. We shall see what goes down. Uh, let me let me really quickly. I totally forgot to put on golden oriole. Ooh, that could have been bad. That could have been bad for us. So we're gonna consume that, and then we're gonna get started. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Please tell me I don't face any more of these arch spores within this DLC. Like, please tell me that it's only like related to some side side activities, and there's nothing in the main quest that has them. Because I'd really like that. I'd really like it if I never saw one again. Oh, man, I'm so glad this one's dying quicker than uh, than most. Let's go. Come on, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Thank you very much for dying. Appreciate it. And let's kill this final one. All right, I guess I'm targeting spores, but whatever. Oh, my God. Of course, I throw the bomb. And he teleports away while I'm throwing it. You love it. You love it. Okay, let's go. Bam. And, yeah, you're going to pop up right on the same one that I just attacked. Damn, okay. All right, I see you. You, you got balls. You got balls, buddy. All right, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, stay there. Stay there. You don't have any other spores to head to, so you're just going to get cooked. You're going to get destroyed by me. All right, come on. Let's blow that shit up. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's very satisfying to blow up an arch spore freaking nest. That's nice. That's nice. I like that. Thank you very much for letting me do that. All right, come on, Roach. Let's get the hell out of here. We're going to the nearest one. We're going to cut through these vineyards. Yeah, let's go. Seven out of ten. Hell yeah. Seven out of ten. You love to see it. Ooh, most of these are for Liam. <laughs> most of these are for Liam, not even for Matilda. But hey, you know what? At least we're we're getting it done. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? Do we have a really annoying situation to deal with? Do we have more arch spores? It seems like they love to put those in our way. Oh my god, we actually do. We actually do. I am so annoyed right now. Alright, I am far enough to meditate, I do believe. I'm not. Okay. If he puts away his sword, I am. Come on, Geralt. Put away your sword. Let me meditate. Thank you very much. Thank you. No, no, no. <laughs> Don't take it back out. All right, here we go. Bam. There we are. There we are. There we are. And then we're going to go ahead and also consume a golden Oriole. And we're going to make sure we're not going to get poison here. That'd be great. Consume. Thank you very much. And bam. Let's go. Here we are. Beautiful. Let's, let's destroy them. Let's destroy these bitches. Thank you very much. Oh my god, what a waste. What a waste of a northern wind. I start off with, with just a whimper. An absolute whimper of a bomb. Okay, come on. Where are we going? Where's the other one at, too? Yeah, I don't actually see where the other one's at, so it's just this one. Hey, 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 no complaints here, right? But something's up. Something feels like it's up. Like, even on the map, it's just this one. What's up here? What's going on? <laughs> Shifty business. There we go, you're dead. So that's really it? What? Okay, all right. It was just one. I was stressing over nothing. Hey, you know what? I appreciate that. I'm just going to go ahead and skip everything here. We're going to skip this sequence so we don't need to see it. It's just him meditating, right? There you go. You now have a place that uh, has returned. People have returned to this area. Let's head to our next location for Liam. And then hopefully we'll have an opportunity to fast travel to the final spot for Matilda. Okay. Fingers crossed it's not. Fingers crossed it's not a goddamn arch spore spot, but uh, you know, odds of it being an arch spore location are pretty high, if you ask me. 
We'll see. We'll see. You know? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't trust this game. They, they, they love to just, like, screw with you, right? They love to make things pretty difficult sometimes. So let's see what goes down. All right, so here is the marker and we have a hidden treasure we just have rock trolls that's kind of nice that's kind of nice it's just rock trolls but i mean kind of annoying too they're annoying to fight as well but not as annoying as the arch spore so yeah that's good all right oh, i could have collected that i could have collected that if i was quick enough damn all right let's just take them out let's just take them out okay bam let's go yeah buddy yeah buddy that's what i'm talking about yeah get freaking whirlwinded or whatever that attack is called love it hell yeah all right bam let's go ahead and put on thunderbolts let's fry you up oh yeah you throw rocks at your buddy throw rocks more of them please i really i really need you to assist me oh my goodness dude these guys are tough <laughs> this is a rough fight this is a rough fight it's because they're so freaking good at guarding but their attacks are super slow so it's kind of nice all right bam let's go oh yeah oh yeah Oh yeah, keep throwing rocks. Do the rocks even damage? I don't even think it was getting damaged by the by the ally throwing rocks. Oh yeah, good dodge on my part. Bam, there you go. There you have it. Alright. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Pull up. Bam. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Nice job. Nice headbutt. Nice job headbutting the air, bitch. Let's go. God damn. Yeah. Oh, this is so much better than an Arch Spores. Like, God, I'm, I'm enjoying this fight way more than, than an Arch Spore fight. Oh, it's nice. It's great. It's actually great. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for making it Rabbit Rock Trolls. But God damn if they're not... Uh, they're not something else to deal with. They, they're just time consuming. It's a, it's, a, it's a lengthy fight. Even though they're not deserving of such my time. Of so much of my time. Such my time. They're not deserving of my time. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, here we go. Bam. There you have it. And then we have our final location. So let's head over to a fast travel straight ahead of us, potentially. No. Wow, there's no fast travels. Okay, we're just going to follow this path. Hopefully we come across a marker. Don't think we will, but if we go that way, we will. So let's just keep heading straight, right? Let's just keep heading straight. Oh, is that a marker? That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. You knew it was going to happen. You knew it was going to happen. It looked like the perfect spot for a marker, if we're being honest. Okay, and then we're headed to our next spot. Let's not teleport to Bolclair Palace. Let's go to the turning ground so we can just sort of book it the entire way. Because if we're if we're at Bolclair Palace, we can't ride our horse very quickly. Isn't that right? I think that's right. Okay, let's go. Let's make our way to the final task for Matilda. Then we shall return to them. And then we will soon be unlocking our achievement. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Beautiful. It is beautiful. And then after that, honestly, I don't know how, how long this video is at the moment. I have a feeling it's probably closer to, you know, 45 minutes at Come this on. point. So I think what I want to do is do some Gwent, probably three or four games of Gwent. Then let's hop on the main quest, you know, because we're really quick with Gwent at this point, if we're being honest, right? Like we are crushing Gwent lately. So I think we got this. And we have, oh my god, Arch Spores. We have Arch Spores. I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off. This is how we end it? This is how we end this quest? I hate this quest. We have Arch Spores. Are you kidding me? God, can I meditate, please? Can I please meditate? Geralt, put your sword away. You're far enough. You're far enough, buddy. Please. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. So yeah, let's go ahead. Get that meditation going. We refill on stuff. Beautiful. And let's go ahead and put on Golden Oriole. Great. 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 Let's kill these arch spores for the goddamn last time. All right. I don't want them anymore. <laughs> I just don't want them in my face. I don't want them near me. I hate them. I hate them. And there's three of them. Am I am I counting that right on the map? There's three. Or are, am I just seeing spores? Maybe this is just another location with one. I'm hoping that's the case. I'm hoping it's just another location that contains one. But if you see, there's a spore over here. So I don't know. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So yeah, I, there's only one on the map. But there, the spores were, were counting as their own marker on the map so this is great this is fantastic keep it up it's unlocked they can't do anything to us you love to see it hell yeah man hell yeah and now everybody's returning i'm gonna go ahead and skip past all of that and here we go there you go everybody has returned to their farmland all right we shall return to liam and matilda hell yeah hell yeah 
So let's see where we can head for a marker. I don't know. We'll try to get to Chuchot Cave. Chuchot? Chuchot? Chuchot. We'll get to the cave, all right? We'll get to that marker. That's what I'm heading for. And, uh, yeah. That's great. It's fantastic. And I think we need to meditate a little bit to unlock our achievement, but uh, there you go. There you go. Wine Wars has been completed, and then we'll take a peek at our achievement list. We should have a total of three achievements left. That's insane. That's insane. That's insane. I'm sorry, guys, for yelling. That's insane. I totally forgot I was headed to the marker. I just started following the river. I started following the GPS. You can't blame me. Okay. Here we go. Bam. And let's go. Bam. Plagmon's Bridge. There you have it. There you have it. Man, what am I going to do once I'm done Witcher? It's crazy. There's going to be like a hole in my life for like consistent gaming. You know what I mean? For like a game that I've been going through for so long. It's been over a year at this point, right? Thank you. Who knows? I might just take a chill pill because this was a lot of work. But uh, honestly, honestly, what am I going to do when Witcher's done? I'm going to be kind of sad, but I'll be happy at the same time because we accomplished something massive. That's for sure. Master Witcher, have you any news? Yes, indeed. I do. Both vineyards should be fine now. Solved your problems. Coronada and Vermentino can both go back to operating normally. Under the circumstances, it is my pleasure to announce that the title to the Belgard Vineyard will officially be signed over to the new consortium the two of you shall form. Truly? I cannot believe it! We've done it! Damn right. Oh, thank you, Witcher. I've no idea how to repay you. Could start with my reward. Yes! Well deserved, I dare say. Here. Nice. <clears throat> Far be it from me to insist, but I have a feeling a professional's aid might yet be useful to you. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Come with me. It is high time you saw Belgard. I'm not sure I liked his tone. Come with us, Witcher. Something tells me we shall have work for you yet. Fine, I'll go to Belgard. What do you mean? All right, let's go. What do you mean, we have work for uh, us? What? My desire for Belgard to pass into capable hands was no idle whim, for the vineyard's fallen upon hard times since its previous owner's demise. I've been told of workers dying on their rounds, monsters prowling about. Before anyone can call this home, they will have to deal with these um, inconveniences. You're kidding that me. That is the minister's wish. More work for me, I guess. If you're willing, we'll gladly accept your help. Sure, I'll help you. More or less already agreed, I guess. Oh, that's a weight off my chest. I was hoping I, I would be say. done. Your reward shall be fair, I promise. I'll get to work. Oh my god, there's five more problems. Dude, I've solved 15 problems for you people. Literally, I've solved 15 problems for you people. Do I have to do this? Holy shit, dude. Look at this. You know what? No. We're gonna take a... We're gonna... You know what? No. <laughs> I don't want to do this right now. So we're going to we're going to return to this in the next video. I literally just I'm done. I'm done doing these 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 fetch quests. You know what I'm saying? I'm not fighting any more arch spores today. I don't want it. I don't want it. So what we're going to do is head over to the Gwent. Yeah, we're going to play some Gwent. We're going to go ahead and play, let's say, four to five more games. And then we're going to get on to the main story. Of course, if you're not interested in Gwent, remember to take advantage of those time codes. But uh, let's go ahead and make it to our first Gwent match right now. All right, here we are. We are at our first Gwent game of the day. Let's speak to the herbalist. Let's beat her ass. Let's go. I'd like to play. Here we go. Blah, 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 blah. Herb schmerb. Let's play some Gwent, okay? All right, here we go. We got another Gwent game started. Let's go ahead and start it up. Hell yeah. We're pretty confident with our deck. We have been pretty successful in the past few games, so I got no complaints. Uh, we don't have a single spy. Hmm. Let's go ahead and get rid of Bezimir. Let's get rid of Crinfid Reefs. We still do not have a spy, but that's okay. We can survive without a spy. I am more than certain. So we've got this. We also have the Dun Banner Medic, whatever you want to call it. We got the medics, so we're pretty satisfied. I think we can, uh, we can deal with anything they throw at us. We have Decoy. If they have a spy, they'll drop the spy and we'll use it. So we're solid. We're pretty solid. Yeah, here we go. All right, we win our first round. I got no complaints. Let's go. That is round number one completed. 
There you have it. And let's see what else we got. Okay, Scorch. That That's actually pretty good. It's actually a pretty useful card. Okay, we're going to place that bad boy down. And then see what they got for us. Okay, Yennefer Vangaberg, easy peasy. We can go ahead and just burn the cards that they bring back. If they bring any back. No, they didn't. Okay, let's place down our four-point card. Yeah, that's where we'll start. And let's see what else they place down. Six points. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? Because we're trying to, like, draw out this match, right? I think I'll place down Yennefer. There's nobody else for me to call in, right? So she's just going to get placed down as a hero card. And then... Ooh, yeah, there we go. Ermian, that's nice. So, oh, no, wait, it's a hero card. Shit. But that's fine. That's fine. They're going to do their thing. I don't know. What did Ermian even do? Triggers transformation of all Berserker cards on the same row. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, we're going to pull back our lovely, lovely, whatchamacallit. Do not remember what they're called. And there you go. Okay, so they've, they've enhanced the Berserker. Interesting. So I'm going to place down this bad boy. We're going to burn up as many Berserkers as they drop. Okay, Dandelion. Okay. All right, we're feeling confident. I'm going to go ahead and just do this. I'm going to destroy their Berserker. Because that's, that's a good hit on them. And then we'll see what they do. Honestly, I just want to run down their points. Yeah. Because they got one more point left. I just want them to run out of points. At the very least. Or run out of cards is what I'm saying. Not points. Okay. All right. They shuffled all their cards. Whatever, dude. Whatever, dude. Okay. We're going to place down our lovely Blue Stripes Commando. There you have it. And let's see what goes down. Uh-oh. Yeah. Shit. They actually, they actually cooked us. They actually cooked us with that. Okay. But that's fine, mostly. I think. Is it fine? We can just pass. Right? They get their first round win. And then they don't get another card in the next round, do they? Oh, shit, they do. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> that could have been... That is bad, actually. I'm losing. I lost. I legit just lost. Although, no, I didn't. Okay, so five plus eight. No, wait, I didn't lose. I didn't lose. I thought I lost, but I didn't lose. We're good. We're good. I, I, I legit thought I lost. I, I couldn't do quick math in my head. But, ooh, that was a tight one. That was a tight one. That was a good match. That was a good match. I like that. I like that. I almost lost it, to be honest. But there you go. That's our first victory of the day. Woo. 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 Ooh, that was something, huh? All right. And since we are in Beauclair, we have a ton of Gwent games surrounding us. So we're just going to run from Gwent match to Gwent match. We're not going to do any cuts just because, uh, you know, we're so close. We're so close. Why even bother? Here we go. Merchant. Welcome. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Let's play some Gwent. I don't need to hear you talk. Just come on. Fight me, bitch. All right. Here we go. We've got another Gwent game getting started against a monster deck. Okay. All right. We have a spy. That's not too bad. I'm going to get rid of a commander's horn. Okay. We have mysterious elf. That's pretty good. And catapult. Bye-bye. We got a catapult for a catapult. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm, I'm feeling pretty decent about this, so I got no complaints. All right, and let's just uh, start pumping them out. Let's just start going crazy with spies. Hopefully, we get another spy like we just did. And uh, I'm looking for a Biting Frost. If I can get a Biting Frost, since this is a monster deck, that would be killer. That would be killer for us. That would do so much work. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. We got it. We got it. You love to see it. We're just going to let them keep doing their thing. Keep building up that front row. Yeah, like like a monster decks do. You know, they're pretty typical. And then we're going to give them a false sense of confidence. We're going to let them pass their round potentially to like that. <laughs> just like that. And then we're going to grip it away from them. We're just going to take their victory away from them. So they only have a total of eight points. So if I put down... Hmm. If I put down... I need to put down Siri. I think that's what's up. Yeah. Put down Siri. I win. So if I put down the catapults, we would tie, and I might, and we'd both lose, right? We'd both lose a, a life, so it's better this way. It's better this way. Okay, what else you got? What else you got, Buster? Huh? Throw your worst at me. Woo! Woo! We have three Blue Stripes Commandos. We have Crinfed Reeves. Ooh, we are double stacking like crazy. Okay, let's go. Let's pop off. 
I'm not going to throw down any boosters just yet. I'm thinking about it, though. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one to start off with. It was a good one to throw them off. We're going to go ahead and place that catapult right back down. Yes, please. <laughs> All right. There you go. Arakas Behemoth. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. Yeah, we're feeling good. Let's go ahead and place down Triss. And then we're going to place down Yennefer. I think... Maybe not yet. Maybe not yet. We're going to hold on to her for, for the moment. I think we'll place down Dandelion, though. That's a good call. Yeah, look at them with their, with their Arakas. Or whatever those are. I don't even know what those are. I think they're Arakas. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Torrential Rain. Not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, do your worst, buddy. Keep it going. We're going to place down a lovely Commander's Horn in the middle. And I think we're going to go ahead and pop off. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start popping off right now. They might have another scorch, so we do have to be cautious of that. But I do have my decoy and I do have Yennefer, so I can I have two medic uses, basically, if you if you look at it that way. So I can I can risk losing these two. Yeah, I can definitely risk losing these two. So let's just see what they do. Let's just see what they do. If they decide to use a scorch or a villain trameth, we should be able to counter it, if need be. But I think we're good. I think we're crushing it. So let's just win. Let's just win already, okay? Damn. Damn. Pretty weak monster deck. They, they blew their load on the first round with that front row being loaded up. Feel bad for them. Feel kind of bad for them. But hey, this is what you get. This is what you get when you challenge me. Here we go. And we already win. I'm just going to go ahead and place down, <laughs> place down the Blue Stripes Commando so that front row is loaded up. It's very satisfying. And we are passing. That is another victory under our belt. You love to see it. Okay. Let's go ahead and move on to our next, next location. It should be just nearby. We have a ton to pick from. So, yeah. We're just headed to the next Gwent game in Beauclair. We're going to do two more. Then we are moving on to the main story. Here we go. We've got one right below. Okay. Just jump down real quick. Don't mind me. I'm on your food. Okay. Here we go. So yeah, let's battle this nice innkeep. Hello, or sommelier. Yeah, eh? We got a sommelier. A wine taster, eh? Would you look at that? Okay. And skipping all that crap. Bam. There you go. Let's just go ahead and get started on this next game. Skellige deck, eh? Woo. Okay. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right. We got a decent start, honestly. I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. We're going to get rid of Bezimir. Blue Stripes Commando. Do I want it? I don't know. We're going to get rid of one decoy. Sigmund Dijkstra. Yeah, we're happy. We got two spies. Great start. It's a great start for us. We're going to start off with Teller. Let's do it. Let's crush him. Okay. Cow. Okay, Moo. Interesting. What does a cow do? When this card is removed from the battlefield, it summons a powerful new unit card to take its place. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, so next round, they're going to have a powerful card. That's probably what's up. That's pretty cool. That's actually a really cool card. I like that a lot. Cow. That's silly. That's so silly. The cow card. Okay, Young Berserker. Oh, boy. I do like the Skellige deck. It, it's honestly... It throws in some unique variation. But it's... Uh, I feel like it's kind of OP in some circumstances. But it has to really work out for you if you're using that deck. So I guess I don't mind it that much. Okay, yeah. You're going to pull in Roach, huh? Yeah, there he is. There's the boy. You gotta love it. Okay, we're gonna throw down Philippa Eilhart. Then Vernon Roche and whatever, whoever this guy is. I don't know his name. John Natalis. We're gonna throw him down too. Young Berserker, eh? Okay. Okay, I see you. I see what you're doing. You're gonna drop down Ermion probably. And I'm gonna use Scorch. It's as easy as that. Holy. They are using a lot of good cards this round. What is going on? They're actually going kind of hard. They're going kind of hard on us. Uh-oh. They're feeling confident. What's going on? What's going on here? I don't, I don't have a good feeling right now. Are they trying to get us to blow our load too? Hmm. Okay. War Longship. Damn, they're really using everything they have. I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm impressed to say the least. Okay, Crinfid Reeves. There you go. And Ceres Holy, how many cards are they going to use? Seriously, how many cards are they going to use right now? Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, 
Yo, yo, yo, yo, yo, yo. Chill, 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 chill. Okay, buddy, relax, relax. You're not doing that. <laughs> You're not doing that. Oh, boy. Okay. All right, they have passed. They have passed, so we can officially beat them now. How do we do this? How do we do this without wasting a lot of resources? I think we just use a commander's horn. It's probably our best bet, all right? Yeah. Woo. Damn, we squeaked away with one extra point. I didn't take in. We were that close. Okay, there you go. We pass on that. That was a risky one. This is, That was a risky one, pushing it so far like that. And yeah, there's the replacement for the cow. Very interesting. Bovine Defense Force. And would you look at that? They really did not luck out. We have a Mysterious Elf. I feel bad. I feel bad for being uh, having such good pulls. But hey, you know what? It's the luck of the draw. What can I say? What can I say? We're going to place down a lovely Dun Banner Medic. And we didn't get to use it? What? What? I should have something in my... Okay, maybe I don't. I thought I had some in my discard pile. That's weird. Did did the did the the leader card on their side get rid of it? I don't even know. But whatever. Whatever. We win. We win. <laughs> that was an interesting battle. I like that. I like that. I had fun. All right. There you go. Another victory for us. Okay. So that is three out of four victories for today. Let's go ahead and make our way to the next destination. Ooh. I gotta admit, I'm kind of annoyed with the Wine Wars quest. <laughs> it just kept being more and more tedious, more and more annoying. And I'm like, you know what? It's not even worth it. It's not even worth it. I'm not going to enjoy it. So why why do it today? I'll save it for, for another day when I have more patience. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Because I'm just going to... You know, you already know I'm going to fight so many more arch spores, right? All right. Merchant, here you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk your, talk your ass off. Just uh, let's play Gwent, okay? Here we go. We have got another battle. We're getting started. We are getting started right away, right off the jump. Okay, I am going first, and we have a spy. We are going to get rid of Blue Stripes Commando. See you later. We have a catapult. We do not have a second catapult. Uh, Commander Sworn. Torrential Rain. See a Torrential Rain. We got a decoy. Okay, not bad, not bad. And they have a Skellige deck, so we shall see how this goes. I don't think it'll go swimmingly. Compared to, if, you, if you think about the last... The last match, that was a rough one. So we'll see how this one goes. They got a decoy. Okay, we have a decoy too. So we're going to be trading spies for a bit. I do like when that happens. Vesemir, do your worst or your best, whatever you feel like. There you go. Sigmund Dijkstra, don't mind if I do. We're going to we're gonna pick that bad boy up. And then we're not going to place him down yet. I think we're going to hold off placing him down. Okay. All right, our opponent has passed. Yeah, you know what? Since we have the opportunity, let's go ahead get some free points or free cards I should say all right not too bad not too bad at all and we won the first round because they passed so early okay all right so we are gonna get started we have so many commander's horns might as well just go ahead and load them up see what the enemy is gonna do and then you know act from there we have so many commander's horns <laughs> it's ridiculous okay all right bam and honestly, it might have been a bad idea because if they have a Scorch, they're definitely going to be using it. But I don't know. Okay. All right. Dijkstra. Thank you. Thank you for using Dijkstra. I really appreciate it. I'm going to place on the Commander's Horn. Just see what they do. We're going to see what they do first. Okay. All right. I'm going to place down. Yeah, I'm going to place down Decoy. Pick up Dijkstra. We're going to hold on to Dijkstra for the moment. Honestly, we're, we're going to hold on to Dijkstra. I don't want to use them up. Oh, you know what I could do? I could get rid of all of their cards right now. So we're going to take advantage of that. There you go. They they can't take advantage of those Berserkers and awaken them and all that crap. They have another Dandelion. Wait, what? Was that a second Dandelion? What, uh, okay. Sure. Whatever you say. Okay. There you go. We got Dijkstra going off. Let's go. We got Prince Dennis. You love to see it. We're winning. I'll tell you that much. We are definitely going to be winning. Okay. Let's go. Bam. There you have it. And would you look at that? We also have Villain Tremeth. And we are going to definitely take advantage of that. It's only going to kill Prince Dennis, but that's still going to be removing 10 points off the board. So there you have it. Bam. And if they use Scorch, we can also use uh, the Medic to bring back Villain Tremeth. So I won't complain. I won't complain if you want to do that. Although I wish I would have held on to Villain Tremeth because of uh, what they currently got on the board. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We got a lot of hero cards still, too. There you go. You love to see it. You love to see it. 
Thank you very much. We're going to go ahead and use our medic. And we are going to place Villantrameth right back down. Bam. There you go. That's a lot of points lost on your side, buddy. Okay. How we doing? How we doing? They would have powered up three times over with that card. That would have been annoying. So it's a good thing I cleared him out. God damn. Okay. War Longship. Jesus. Holy. How many cards did they have? I guess their spy. Them, them using the spy really gave them a lot to play with. Scorch. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I, I was kind of like why I put that out there. I knew something was going to happen to a high level card. So I wanted to get rid of it. There you go. Okay. Ermion. Yeah, there we go. They could have awakened all of their berserkers. So it's a good thing I cleared them out. That's great. All right. And we win. It's as easy as that. There is another victory for us. That was uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Previous previous match was much more rough than this one. But there you go. We are passing. We've won the round. That is another victory for us. Woo. There you have it. There you have it. That is 14 out of 19 games in, in Toussaint. So we have five more left to go until we unlock our achievement. Okay. All right. So let's get out of here. It's going to take the fast travel. Or should I even? I can probably just... No, I'm not going to ride roach. It's going to be too slow. I should be able to fast travel. Is there fast travel right over here? No. I guess I'm running across. That's annoying. No, I'm not doing that. I'm going to... Because I'd have to run all the way up, wouldn't I? To be able to speak to the Duchess. <laughs> I'd have to run all the way up. So if I just make it to the square in Beauclair. Beauclair Square, you could call it. If I just make it here, then we should be able to just fast travel. Fast travel right to the tippity top of Bo Beauclair Palace, right? That's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping for at the very least. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. I think it worked. Don't actually know. Hello. Hello, Duchess. Duchess of Beauclair. Come speak to me, please. Hmm. Where do we go? They're up? Okay. Okay. I thought it was down for some reason. Here you go. Beautiful. We're getting started. Harold of Rivia, Master Witcher. I was not mistaken. You arrived and trouble followed soon after. Step aside. Got a matter for the Duchess. At last, Witcher. We've been on tenterhooks. Did you catch Milton's killer? Found the beast, but that's it. Case just got more complicated. Found the beast, but that's it. Found the beast of Beauclair. Just couldn't kill it. We sent you after a monster and you return with nothing? Okay, relax. We are relax. very disappointed. Situation's not quite that simple. Beast's a powerful vampire. Ha! <laughs> Is this a problem? Is it too much for a witcher? A monster slayer? But everyone knows how to end a vampire. Draw him by trick into sunlight. Or arm yourself with ample garlic and drive a stake through its heart. Garlic's useless against vampires. Sun and stakes don't hurt him either. Those methods, pure invention. Only work in legends and fables. And Buckthorn? When I was a child, Grandmama Ademarta always claimed Buckthorn drives off vampires. Silver sword's your best option for keeping them at bay. But it won't get the job done, because only a higher vampire can truly kill another of its kind. Interesting. That's Excuses. pretty cool. Excuses. Ha! Your grace, I shall assemble a batu. Bring the matter to its end at once. The witcher need but tell us where to find this monster. Stay out of this. Go ahead. Let them go to their deaths. Stay out of this. Whoa. This is work for a witcher, not for your guardsmen. Yet when a witcher fails, my guardsmen must step in. I'll take my best. Forty hardened veterans. No vampire can stand up to that. Forty, fifty, a hundred? Doesn't matter. Won't make any difference against him. Yeah. You have not seen my guardsmen in action. Can they fight fog? Hit a target that moves faster than the wind? How? What creature can do such things? Higher vampires. Creatures like this one. Higher vampires, we call them. Each one's a little different, unique or exceptional, you might say. Some transform into giant bats. Others communicate with animals, command them. Yet all are still brainless beasts. Dead wrong. Thinking of lesser vampires, 
Alps, Ekimaras, Catacans, for instance. They're ruled by instinct, sure. Attack anything that smells of blood. Hire vampires? They think. They employ reason. Monsters driven by reason. A curious contention. What, then, do you intend to do? Want to find him. Try to talk to him. Try to talk to him. That's our best bet. I cannot believe this. Her grace summons a witcher to kill a monster. Instead, he wishes to chat with it. <laughs> know what I'm doing. His lover was kidnapped. He's being blackmailed. Blackmailed? Be so kind as to explain how a vampire might be blackmailed. Higher vampires? They're like us, motivated by emotions, not instinct. Not only are they intelligent to an extreme, they're emotionally... rich. Capable of feeling many things, even love. This one fell in love with a woman, a human. And he'll do anything to keep her from harm. You do not, I trust, suggest we let Milton's killer go free. Or wait until it murders again. We must render it harmless as quickly as possible. Free the vampire's lover. An innocent woman's been abducted. Yeah, free the vampire's lover. I'll find a blackmailer. Free the vampire's lover. You were to destroy him, not help him. No one else should die. That's most important. As soon as the woman's safe, he'll have no more reason to kill. Hmm. I admit to being swayed, Witcher. You may be right. Do you know anything about the blackmailer? Got one lead. A few scraps of paper. Blackmailer wrote the names of the vampire's victims on them. One of them stained. A drop of wine, looks like. So damn little to go on. You've no idea how wrong you are, my dear. Send for the Ducal Sommelier. Hop, hop! That's crazy. We just played Gwent against the Sommelier. In Tucson, wine is sacred. Here, there is no such thing as a drop of wine, or stains therefrom. They are stains from a drop of Estest, Ervelus, Fiorano. Your Grace wished to see me? Witcher, show him the paper scrap. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Benoit, can you determine which wine made this stain? Mmm, mm, yes, yes, the, the west bank of the saint -La -Tour. That, that, that's rather obvious, aged in barrels of Beauclair oak, hue, deep burgundy, clarity, high. It's simple, saint Real, the 1269 vintage. Wow. That's, that's impossible. The wine is produced at Castel Revello. Especially and exclusively for the ducal table. Perhaps some song real was stolen. We must go to the vineyard. See if there's not been an incident. What do you mean, we? Wait, your grace wants to go with me? Out of the question. I hope you do not suppose we will sit on our ducal hiney and do nothing while our duchy is in grave danger. Your Grace, what you propose is far too dangerous. The Witcher should go alone. It pleases me to see you gentlemen finally agree on something. But I've made my decision. We shall go, accompanied by the best possible escorts. You, Captain, and Geralt. We will travel incognito. We've no wish to give the court any reason to gossip. For the duration of this mission, I release you from your obligation to adhere to court protocol. In short, from now on, I am Anna Henrietta, not your grace. Wow. Yes, your grace. Uh, Witcher, are you ready? Let's go. Yeah, ready to go. Excellent. Give me a moment. I must don something more appropriate and concealing. Then we will be off. All right. Yeah, you need a low-key fit. Let's go. Sometime later. And we're off. Would you look at that? Interesting. Interesting. So, yeah, of course, like, this is the land of wine. So, of course, they have a sommelier that is like a... Oh, he is an expert. He knows exactly what he's talking about. That is so funny. He's like... Hmm. 
aged in Beauclair oak. I like that. I like that. <laughs> oh, why did we need that shot of them riding? I guess to be over here. I thought it was just going to cut to another shot of them riding. Did you kill it? Didn't have to fight him. Hadn't killed anyone. Have you ever heard of anyone defeating such a vampire? Know of a man who defeated one, sure. But he didn't manage to kill it. Ultimately, only another vampire can kill a vampire. Hmm. Yeah, that's a really interesting part of it. So, like, Regis was reduced to mush. He was, like, squashed. But he wasn't killed because he wasn't killed by a vampire. I find that really, really interesting. I like that. Okay, are we going to pick up the base, everybody? No, we're not. I have to be very, very slow. I have to keep up my pace with you three. What? We must help. Stay back, your grace. What? We shall see to this. Thank you, hey, it's not your grace. It's Anna. It's Anna Henrietta. Come on. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. These Panthers are out for blood. Jesus. Chill the hell out, everybody. Just relax. Holy, dude. Come on. Come on, dude. Come on, Captain. Do something. Do something. I need some help. I need some assistance here. My God. Holy. Where did that bomb even go? Bro, I threw it all the way back to the palace. God damn. Okay. 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 Stop. 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 Please stop. Please stop. There's a reason I have Quen active, but it's not even doing what I want. God damn. Just kill that panther. Kill that panther right in front of you, dude. You have one job, okay? Please, just do it. All right. Here we go. Come on. Come on, dude. Just die. There we go. There's one dead. And then this other one is just over here running away. What are you doing, dude? Why aren't you killing it? What's going on here? Like, come on. Come on. Time to move on. Come on, Roach. Let's go. Roach, where are you going? Get the hell over here. You saved our lives. Hooray! No worries. No worries, everybody. We're happy to. We're happy to. I really wish we didn't fight, though, because those panthers were brutal. But we're happy to. It's the best in old Tucson. An old master of the winemaking trade runs it. Fabricio. He trustworthy? He's held his post for years. There's never been a problem. Till now. I wish to know your thoughts, Geralt. The Sonreal stain, how did it wind up on the paper? Is someone from the vineyard blackmailing the vampire? Could be a servant. Could be the steward. Could be the wine was just stolen from the estate. We shall know when we arrive. It's not far now. Okay, are we here? Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I wonder, is it like stolen wine? Is it someone inside? Captain de la Tour. Is it someone we framing them? It's interesting. From the palace? How are affairs at court? Doubtless you've heard of the Beast of Beauclair. Well, we've our hands full. Especially since the rogue last attacked in the palace gardens. I trust her illustrious highness was not harmed. Kind of you to ask, Master Fabricio. I am well. Your... Your Grace? We were not warned. I shall order the salon prepared at once. That won't be necessary. As you can see, we are not here on an official visit. Naturally. Might I ask then what has brought you to Castel Ravello? Wanna talk to you. Came to see you. Got some questions. In this land, it is seen as polite to introduce oneself before asking any questions. Okay, buddy. Okay. This Whatever. is Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. He has come to Toussaint on my personal invitation. Which is to say... Which is to say I expect you to treat him with the utmost respect. Yeah. Of... of course, your grace. Did you hear that, witcher? Fabricio will be delighted to answer your every question. Want to talk about San Real? I am at your service. Who's got access to the wine? The San Real. How many vineyard workers have access to it? One might say only I do. Not like you make the wine all alone. At least a dozen others work here. I see you've little notion how wine is made. Grapes travel a long road before they become Sonreal. The workers assist me only to the stage of fermentation. I see to the maceration personally and let no one near the fat. 
Workers, again, assist me during barreling, but then I seal the aging barrels myself, each and every one. The wine lies in the cellar, gains character. Once this process is complete, it becomes Sonreal. And as it happens, only I have the key to the cellar in question. Okay, interesting. How's the wine transported? Who hauls the barrels to the palace? We've our own garrison. Guards who have served here for years and would answer with their heads for the wine. We'll not get anywhere asking questions, I see. It's a waste of time. Your Grace? How am I to understand this? Master Fabricio, we have proof someone's gained access to Sonreal. Someone who should not have. Mm -hmm. Which means one of two things. Either you lie to our face, or you are an idiot who has had wine stolen from under his nose and not even realized it. In either case, Damn. you shall answer for it. But, but Silence! And listen. I shall inspect the barrels in person, thus giving you time to reflect. When I return, I expect to hear answers. Oof. Remind me, where is this Sonreal stored? In... in the main cellar, around the corner. I'll show you. I shall find it. Give me the key to the cellar and wait here. Oh, of course, Your Grace. Here it is. Damn. Come, Witcher. That was awesome. She's got that uh, intimidation down. We it's for sure. All right, Anna Henrietta, let's go. What if Fabricio is blackmailing the vampire? Considered that? He has his flaws, but I would never suspect him of such a thing. He's been very loyal. He owes all he has to me. His father frittered away the family fortune. He left his son an encyclopedic knowledge of wine. That is all. Fabricio lived as a beggar until I appointed him steward of Castel Ravello. Only then did he come into his own. Okay. Interesting. Start the wine cellar with Anna Henrietta. Hell yeah. But which way? Which way are we going? Hmm? I'll follow you. Okay, here we go. So where do oh, we damn. start? Let us see if all the barrels are present. Here's the inventory ledger. Okay, starting with that. Mm, vintner's log. Fermentation completed with no complications. Tapped above sediment line. Here it is, barreling. Mm, everything lines up at first glance. Neatly and thoroughly documented. Then we must follow our other lead. Benoit said the stain came from the 1269 vintage. Let's find it. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna check in this area. 1269, here we go. Ervalus, I like it, quite dry. An excellent wine. You've good taste. Est, est. Think everyone and their mothers heard of this wine. Among the best in the world. Castel Ravello is famous for it. Got Pomino over here. Okay, 1269. Fiorano, Dandelion's favorite, adores it. Ah, yes, that sophisticated palate. Okay, let's see. Oh, no, that's not it. Hello? Okay, so is it upstairs? I don't know. Is this where I'm supposed to head? We're looking for 1269, right? Is this it? 1270. So close. So Sorry, uh, close. 1270 vintage. That's the wrong year. Yes, yes. I know it's the wrong year. Don't you worry. This 1269? No, 1268. Oh my god. Barrels are dated 1268. Close. 1269, Sangreal. Right here. 1269. What now? Let's see if any barrels are empty. Wanna open them? For now, a knock will suffice. If you hear a hollow thud, we will have found what we seek. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Let's start knocking. Sounds full. full. Yeah. But this one. Also this sounds full. full. Too. I can't inspect this one in the middle, though. Oh, that's not even a barrel. <laughs> this one's full, too. Okay. This full. one's full, too. How about these two? Hello. Here we go. Come on. I'm so close. Come on. There we go. 
This one's full too. And this last one? Can't even check it. Looks like all the barrels are full. Dead end, I'm afraid. I didn't check the last full one. They are. The question is, are they full of Sanria? A smart. Grab a tap and a hammer. We shall open them one by one and taste. Okay. Find barrel taps. Did I find one? No, that's corkscrew. Okay. <laughs> Gotta find a barrel tap. <laughs> okay, no, that's not one. Hmm, this is a cool, cool objective. You you gotta taste the wine. I dig it. This is really interesting. Here we go. No, don't want est est. Don't mind me. I'm going for this right over here. Barrel tap. Here we go. Tap the barrels for Anna Henrietta. She got cups? You got cups over there? Got the taps. Then get to work. Let's broach those bottles. Hell yeah. Bam. Ready. Ooh. Step aside. Very satisfying. Oh, I almost fell. Okay, can I tap this one while she's doing that? No, I have to tap the same one. Oh, you spilled some. So? Those hints of spice. Mm, distinctive. This is Son Real. Okay. Alright. Check that one out for me, please. I'm gonna go to this end. Here we go. I can start get it started. Bam. Alright, and how about these two? Can I get these? Here we go. Revolting bitter plonk. Could have gone sour while each other. Impossible. This is not wine. This is contaminated refuse that should never have made it into a barrel. Ah. The fact that it did was no accident, I'm sure. Interesting. Okay. Master Fabricio. Let's see what he has to say about it. Hmm. So yeah, someone stole it. Ooh, I like that shot. Oh. <laughs> Master Fabricio, I am very disappointed. But your grace, I... You are a step away from losing your head. Speak the truth and you might yet keep it. That was a good shot. I, I, I admit it. I, I, I sold a barrel of Sorreal. I beg you to forgive me. Why did you do it? I couldn't resist. The sum they offered, it was enormous. Interesting, okay. I gave in. Is what I provide not enough? I wished to buy back my family's estate. For here... Nothing is truly mine. I have a roof over my head, ample food to eat, but what is a nobleman without land of his own? I shall tell you everything if you agree to show me mercy. Yikes. Who'd you sell the wine to? Who'd you sell the wine to? A few weeks passed at the pheasantry, a rich nobleman approached me. He called himself a diplomat, well-connected at court. He suggested we embark on an enterprise. Some of his clients had offered dizzying sums for even a drop of Sorreal. He was to serve as intermediary. This man's name? He never revealed it. He was tall, black-haired, and spoke with a foreign lilt. He claimed to hail from Sintra. Okay. I've no Sintrin aristocrat at court. How'd you deliver the wine? Mm -hmm. Wine itself. How'd you hand it over? We met under the cover of darkness in the ruins of Fort Astre. A dozen or so men came to collect. Armed men. The kind that stink of trouble. I had hauled the barrel there. They transferred it to their cart, and we went our separate ways. That's it? At the last you ever saw of them? They... that is to say, a, a few days passed. A, a messenger arrived. He said they wished to buy another barrel, and... Well, I've prepared it. Have it ready to deliver. Hmm, that's enough. That's enough. Know all we need to know. Your Grace... I beg your forgiveness. Get out of my sight. 
Captain, have your men take Master Fabricio to the dungeon. He must answer for his crime. High treason the charge. What now, Witcher? We set a trap. Need to catch the wine thieves. Sentry and Noble could be our blackmailer. Next, transport. I'll take it to Fort Astra. Damien and his soldiers will cover me. For once, I agree with you. We will do as you say. Let me know when you are ready. I'll be back soon. Need a minute. Make haste. We await only you. Okay. Should we do the ambush? I was thinking of ending the video there, but we would not have made maybe we do the ambush. Honestly, we're doing it. Let's go, Damien. We're doing ready. the ambush. I want to check it out. Say the word, and we will make for Fort Astra. It is time to catch these wine thieves. Hell yeah, we can start. See no reason to wait. Let's get going. We will set out now. Position ourselves before you arrive. You take the cart and meet us there. Fine. When the handoff begins, watch for my signal. Signal? Oh boy. Alright, interesting. Yeah. So the ruins of Fort Astaire, or Astra, whatever you want to say. We're doing an exchange. This is very interesting. I was thinking about ending the video there, but honestly, I'm kind of hyped. I'm kind of hyped to see this. Okay, I wonder what's up. Relax. Now we wait. Oh, okay. Just a bunch of bandits. Nothing crazy here. Ah, our favorite vintner. Okay. Damn, so it was called off just like that because it wasn't the guy? Wasn't the nobleman? Interesting. Okay, now we're fighting. Are we do we have to leave one alive at all? Or are we just killing him? Hey, I don't mind either way to be honest. Like I'm down to kill. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought I was attacking, but uh, I was just standing still. Bro! Who blew that up? Who blew that up, bro? Oh my god. The one time I don't have Quen on. The one time I don't have Quen on, a freaking barrel explodes right next to me. Never seen a barrel explode in my life in this game, I feel like. Maybe in cutscenes, if anything. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, let's go, let's go. Jesus, you gotta be careful with that. That thing is super flammable. My god. That's crazy. That is crazy. I'm glad I'm um, on this side, though. That is for sure. Yeah, we do not need to deal with that. Alright, let's go. Bam, bam, and bam. Can I shoot that? Or no, you know what? I should just blow it up. Let me let me use a grape shot. And bam. Because I do not want to deal with a potential issue of getting blown up. I feel like I even got damaged from all the way over here. But I think it was the bandit that actually damaged me there. I thought it was perfectly timed with the explosion. So it could have been the explosion. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Bam. Nice to Holy, there are so many of them. <laughs> There's a ton of them. But it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I've dealt with worse, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. And they're just like classic bandits. They're not like scary bandits, right? We can deal with them. We can definitely deal with them. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, man. Get taken the hell out. Ooh, damn. You just got like punched in the throat or something. God damn. All right, here we go. Let's blow that. Let's blow these up. Let's go for a enhanced dragon's dream. No, thank you. I want a dancing star. Thank you very much. Right, let's throw it at the bandit there. Bam. There you go. Oh, good explosion. Good explosion indeed. This is the leader, huh? Yeah, Horns or whatever this guy's name is. He's the leader of the, these bandits. Let's take him out. Let's take him out right over here. I got you, buddy. You just chill. You just chill. You just stay right there. We got you. Don't you worry. Bam. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. You love to see it. Bam. Bam. Oh, buddy. Horns. Hornets? Wait, what's his name? Horns or Hornets? Stop moving. Hornets. Interesting. <laughs> Hornets. 
All right, there you go. Hornets is taken out. Now it's just the, the fodder. Just the easy ones. Bam. Let's go. I think these are... Yeah, these are the last few. And they're dealt with. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. I can take it down. And we got you over there. Take that. Thank you very much. Oh, dude. What are you doing in this corner? Are you useless? You're supposed to be the captain. Are you useless? This guy had no damage. He literally had no damage. And this guy had him in the corner. I figured he would have been at least at half health. Like, come on, dude. I'm disappointed. You guard the Duchess? What what kind of guarding do you do? You do nothing. All right, here we go. Last one. God damn. This was a lot of bandits to kill. I figured we would have left one alive. You know what I mean? We just straight up killed him. Well, we did it. Is it just me, or did we agree you'd wait for my signal? That was the plan, but... Great shot. Good thing you reacted. Can't say how that would have ended otherwise. At your service. It was a good fight. We managed to capture one of the scoundrels. Let's ask him a few questions. Come on. Witcher, a moment. I was wrong about you. Wow, that's big of him. He had no reason to trust me. We did what we came to do. That's what matters. Had no reason to trust me. Well, had no reason to trust me. And I didn't do much to change that. True. You are not the most endearing of men. Okay, buddy. At any rate, I see the effort you put forth. And I appreciate it. Let us go to her grace. She awaits nearby. She's here? What? Wait, she here? I hope you did not think I would leave this to you alone, especially when every hour could prove essential. This prisoner of yours, bring him to me. We must ask him some questions. Prisoner? We got a prisoner? Oh, hey, look at that. It's the boss. I think. He's got all those tattoos. No, it isn't. It isn't him. It's just a random one. Captain, do the honors. Who sent you? His name is Dog. They say he plowed your mother. Holy. Once again, who sent you? Your nun's lover. They call him. Wait. If he doesn't wish to speak, he needn't. I can think of several other ways he can be helpful. I'm certain the Witcher will need bait to lure the beast of Beauclair. What? what? Damn. Great idea. Sure can. Fresh out. In that case, he is all yours. Captain. Have your men find me a strong rope. Kind that won't snap when we hang this fellow from a tree. R rope? Live bait. Great for monsters. Provided they catch the scent of its blood. But I'll see to that. What? No. That's awesome. Cracky, no! Don't let them! Stop screaming. Save your strength. Got a long night ahead of you. No! Don't let him! I I'll talk! Who hired you? Who hired you? He... he'll kill me! Ought to be worried about me right now. Who is he? Yeah. Go on, man. Spit it out. The Sintrian. That is what they call him. I've never seen him, but I know he mustered a man for this caper. That's what they said, that we were working for the Sintrian. I don't know anything else. I swear it. Okay, interesting. Take him away. Throw him in the dungeon. He shall await trial there. Captain, we ride to town. Gather your men and seek out the Sintrian. Someone else must have seen him, must know of him. Yes, Your Grace. I'll report to the palace as soon as I learn anything. I shan't return to the palace. Our mission has not yet ended. The Witcher and I will await you at the guard post near the port. I'll join you there. I'll join you. We'll meet there. We shall await your arrival. All right. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. I think now we're definitely going to be ending this video. That was a really good ending with the ambush and all that stuff. The interrogation sequence. I dug that. I liked how Geralt sort of improvised with uh, what she said. Live bait for the monster. I like that.
this was a lot of fun. I hope that you enjoyed the video as well. We're getting that much closer to completing Blood and Wine and also Witcher 3, and I hope you are as excited for it as I am. Thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed, and I hope you have a great day. I will see you in the next one.